Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my AI tutorial using the AIG AI Manager. Um, today we're not actually going to be using AI Manager, we are in the sim. And coming off from part one where you just install all the airlines and routes and everything, you can see we've got a ton of BA at Terminal 5, we've got a Virgin Atlantic down there, and got some Americans as well, and a Delta behind us more virgins more deltas and more americans at terminal three go down to terminal two here you can see um is that an air india i think and air new zealand and others in terminal four aeroflots and not many at terminal four actually in fact there is an aircraft behind there but as you can probably tell there's a lot of ai and you, if you have this much ai you're not going to get the nicest of frame rates. So, there's a way you can manage your AI. Oh, look, there's a BOAC74. Um, right, the way you can manage your AI is a program called AI Companion. AI Companion is a nice, sweet tool where you can limit the amount of aircraft that are in your sim. You can also optimize aircraft when you're in the air as well. So, if you're above a certain altitude, you can delete all the aircraft on the ground and you can also delete any aircraft that are like far away for example because there is no need to have this many AI in your flight simulator so uh, the list keeps on scrolling we're still on the Airbus not even on the Boeing's yet here we go now there's the Boeing's so I'm going to be showing you how to install and run AI Companion so what you want to go and do is head to the AIG forum there is a page called AI Companion. It's a live updated page. I will link it down below. And what you want to simply do is go to this website link and see this bit here. And it says new version available. Click on that. It will just link you to the latest version that this uh, developer has added. And you click the download link. So I'm using P3D, so I download it for P3D if you're using FSX. Obviously download the FSX version. So I'm gonna click on P3D. You download it via media file, so that's fine. Click on download and downloaded has started and once that's downloaded I will see you on my downloads folder okay it is now downloaded it is uh, AI companion p3d then the version number I'm just going to extract it like so and then open that folder and this is what's inside the p3d version I'm pretty sure the fsx version has just got a different DLL so it can connect to fsx instead of Lockheed Martin um, I've made a little folder within AIG AI Manager called AI Companion. So all my AI stuff to do with AIG are in one area and AI Companion isn't there. So what we're going to do is just cut and paste over, like say, so. let's give it some time and there we are. So now that's done, you can go and delete these, they are not needed. Right, AI Companion, you just run it. Same thing, you have to run it as administrator, so I would go to compatibility, so right click properties compatibility, and then run this program as administrator. So every time you double click, it will run as administrator, and give it some time. It shouldn't like freeze on load up, on start up, just like um, AI manager. I've turned off traffic limiter to uh, show you once it's connected how many aircraft are in the sim. There we go. There are 252 aircraft. 82 aircraft are in the air and 170 are on the ground. Um, I don't know if your AI ma uh, companion will start up like this. So what you want to go and do is hit the little three dots at the bottom right, click options, then this options page will come up. It may find your AIG AI aircraft folders, but if it doesn't, it could be empty or it could come up a warning saying you need to add it. So I'm just going to move them like so. And I'm going to go click add, and then I'm going to go for this PC, my hard drive, of uh, SSD, flight sim drive, prepared add ons, add ons, AI, AIG tech, add on manager. And that takes me to my add on folder that I selected in the last video where all my sim objects will be installed which is here so I click on the sim objects folder then I click OK and then for the traffic BGLs it's the same 
space, uh, but accept is the traffic files, and then scenery folder, click OK. Also, what one might want to do, if you are using uh, AI Companion, which you should be if you're watching this video, with the traffic limiter, say, um, I'll tick this box so it says start with traffic limiter on. And the same with this box, auto connect to simulator. So both of these will connect to on. And then these can be uh, left to however you want. Um, it doesn't matter to me. You can go messing around with all of these if you want, all these settings, but they're just whatever you want it to be. Click OK, and there we are. So it should have all of these. You can see all the different airlines in the same city. Well, Lufthansa, it's landing into, into Birmingham. It's landing into Birmingham. Why do I want to see an aircraft landing into Birmingham? You don't, do you? There is no point of seeing an aircraft landing into Birmingham. I don't know why this highlight is a bit dark. Anyway, so what you want to go and do is go to Traffic Limiter. And then I think you'll load up with the, like this. It'll be like this. I think this has like 15 seconds and like something like that. But what you want to do is you want to make sure maximum number of aircraft to keep. I have it at 50. You can lower it down to something lower. You can test around with the FPS differences with 0 and... 50 or 100, but I have it on 50. You can keep traffic only within the distance of player, which means if an aircraft's landing into Birmingham, wherever it was, it won't show it because it's only 25 nautical miles away from where you are. It will show AI. And I also have delete all ground traffic when the player is above 18,000 feet. So once you've passed 18,000 feet, all aircraft on the ground will just be gone. You can tick some other ones, so keep all on-route traffic above that. If you want to see uh, loads of traffic when you're above the sky, there's, there's less aircraft in the air than the ground, obviously. But I just have it unticked, because I think that could reduce FPS. Uh, there is a setting here as well, which says delete if too close from preceding landing aircraft. Um, and if going around, and then also high when I approach once again, these are all your preference. I don't think these ones really affect FPS much, but they're just preference. So I'm happy with all those. You can also just turn on traffic limiter, like so. It could always, it could also already be on, and I have it set to run optimize every 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds, it will run these settings. Also, if you don't mind having like, let's say 30 FPS, and there's the optimization running actually. Let's wait until it's done, and there we go, total aircraft 52. Okay, it isn't, it isn't exactly 50, maybe some AI uh, just spawned in just last minute there, but just after it, it ran. But, there you go. It's, it ran it down to 52, and already aircraft are spawning in, because they spawn in, it's AI. But it's actually at 50, and it'll keep growing until 30 seconds later, it'll run it again, and bring it back down to 50. But, what you can do, is if you're getting above 30 FPS, right, you can tick that, or or even let's say I want to, if I have my sim over 50 FPS, right, I don't know why there's a little decimal point there, but if you have a sim at over 50 FPS, it will ignore, or not optimize, as in, it won't run the optimization unless your sim is under 50 FPS. Does that make sense? I hope so. But I don't have that, because I want it to optimize all the time. So, click Optimize Now. It should. Okay, I sent it to 52, that's fine. But now you can see, basically most of the aircraft now in AIG are as in sleep or parked at the gate, or one's taking off to Zurich, and yeah, and then two are en route. This is the only, by the looks of it, this is the only aircraft, the EasyJet after Gatwick, that isn't um, associated with the Heathrow. Actually, no, that light I could scroll a bit more. This EasyJet and this, um, oh, and it's just gone because the optimizer just ran. So, yeah. It, it really helps on the FPS. And to prove that the FPS is, is changing, let's go back into the sim. And we can show you 
FPS with zero traffic, FPS with my optimizer running, and then FPS without the optimizer running. Okay, here we are in the sim, it's just me and the PMDG 747, and the sim likes to lock itself at 60, uh, it's just when it's not in use. If I do something crazy, I don't know why, when I just move my mouse off the monitor, it goes up to uh, unlocked refresh rate, and the unlocked refresh rate is about 76 FPS. So, let's go and turn on traffic, but without the traffic limiter on, first of all. So we get the traffic, and then airline traffic density 1%, which is why I've set it to AIG, and like I said, I moved my mouse off the monitor to, to see what the FPS would be like with tons of AI. And that's gone down more by, t um, yes, yeah, more than by a half. It's down to 30, 31, 32 FPS. Now, let's turn on the traffic limiter. And we'll click, um, we'll go to the tra traffic limiter and just optimize now. And we'll just wait for, like, the traffic to disappear, I guess. So, uh, so yeah, at some point, there we go. There it's gone. So now we're down to about 50 FPS with my current traffic limiter setting. But do remember, I have, um, this is Heathrow. This is Heathrow. So there are a ton of aircraft expected. However, it went down um, by 20 FPS to an optimized version of AI, and then a, down another 20 FPS if you uh, have no settings. If I were to be a bit stricter on this, let's say 25 aircraft, I bring that so you can see the FPS a bit easier. That's now 60 with, with a few aircraft. And you know it's 25. Look, that's, that should be 25 or whatever it is at 28. So maybe you can just go and tweak around with this uh, to set up your FPS limits. By the way, this has to be run the whole time that you're running the sim. If you close it, it won't automatically just bring the full AI back. It will just not run the optimizer. It will just run until the AI it will come back to how it used to be. Is that a 767? Yes. So yeah, that is AI Companion. That's how it works. It's really easy. Uh, and so it looks like the Terminal 5A is just completely full, except that stand and some over there. <laughs> nice. So that's how AI Companion works. It's really easy. It gains your FPS back. Obviously, you do lose some FPS because you've got AI. There's AI needs to model and texture and render it all out. And we're at Heathrow as well, which is not the best of airports for FPS. So... That is how AI Companion works. I hope you've enjoyed this AI mini tutorial series with AIG. I will see you in the next video. And bye-bye for now.